Hello, welcome back. I thought I'd just do a little video on me stripping this um, washer, wash machine dryer, washer dryer, whatever you want to call it. It's a Beko, I'll just read it off here. It's a WDA914401W. <laughs> that means anything to you. Um, yeah, it's a little bit different to a normal washing machine because it's got the dryer bit on it. So I'm going to see what I can get out of it. And uh, yeah, just see how we get on. Right, so the main difference when you look at it is it's got the heat exchanger on the top, Ali. <laughs> then you've got this bit here, cast Ali. It's got two fan motors here. And I don't know what else there is in there, it's a lot different. I thought there'd be a lot more wiring than what there is, but I don't think there's nothing really extra. <laughs> but um, it's got the little small motor on it so there's not a lot of weight in the motor and uh, yeah the rest of it's like a normal washing machine so let's see what i can get out of it i'm not going to put you on time lapse or nothing at the moment anyway because the tripod would be in the way right i've got this piece off this is the the heater it heats the air for the for the dryer you can see what's written on there. You can't see anything. I've tried it with the camera. Um, it's not light enough, but there's a little heater element in there. It's there, obviously. Um, so that's in there. Cast alley. Yeah. It leaves you a bit more of a gap. And I'll try to take the stuff off the top and then just strip it out like a normal washing machine. Hey, why are you whining? It's, all right. it's not that cold out here, mate. Right, so to get this bit off, the heat exchange, a few screws at the bottom to the back here. There's these two pipes run into the blower bit, and they run into oh, they run into where are they run into they run into there, so that pulls tight against it. So a bit of a job. Um, you pry this bit off there, what is glued onto there. Um, yeah, and that's not too bad. And then obviously, I've disconnected this, and underneath this is this pipe here. So, if you haven't got a lot of room to pull it up, we're pulling it up on the pipe. You just pull it up, and that's out there. And these motors are bloody heavy, and they look, I don't know where you can see it, they look real thick of copper. So, let me put that. Red gloves when you do these because yeah I only took the gloves off because I'm using me, me you know the phone. Like right, this I'm guessing is alley but it might be stainless I'll check it in a minute. I'll check it by the end of the video just to make sure what it is. And now it's basically down to more or less a normal washing machine to strip. You can see what the problem's been, that bearing's gone. You can see all the, the water's run out the bear on that. And that's why it was scrapped. A bit of alley. Watch these when you do these, sometimes they're bloody sharp. But uh, I'll take the motor off, I'll take this off, I'll take the pump off. Um, and all the wiring, basically. Uh, right, let's get on with it. Right, I've just laid on its front to, so that I can get to the back of it, the pulley and stuff. And the motor. I just want to show you something. I don't know where you can ever see it. The concrete's been smacking the pump. It smashed the hole through the concrete. <laughs> this bloody thing must have been vibrating all over the place. Yeah, look at that. Pretty amazing, that, isn't it? I've um, got the motor out there, and actually says worse. The whole weight has fell off. Whole concrete weight and it snapped off there. Snapped off there. Yeah, I didn't realise that. Let me see it from the top. Yeah, yeah, let's just snap the whole weight, concrete weight. It's, ooh, it's well and really buggered, isn't it? Right, I don't even see it from above here. So it's snapped off. I wish I knew it was as bad as that before I started, because I would have started it up. And, yeah, well, I should have looked in here. Because, you know, yeah. <coughs> 
so all the wiring's out and the motor's off. The only thing I haven't took out was the heater element. I really can't be, be bothered on this one. Trying to do it quick. Um, yeah, so doors in fix, that's the alley. And then, yeah, we're nearly there. Right, so the door's off, so I had the hinge. I haven't took the door switch in the lockout because it's just sort of the hassle at the moment. I don't take the whole pump off, I just take the, the motor. And uh, yeah, I think I've got everything else out of it. What I used to do is take every single thing off all these struts, all the hoses, and I used to sell them on eBay. And I had like, oh, well over 5,000 items on eBay. And I used to do all right out of it, but uh, the market's not there now like it was. You probably come back now that people are struggling more for money and stuff, but uh, it's storing a lot of stuff, and I don't want to go back down that road. But if you're interested in that sort of thing, have a look, you know. You may be able to make a few quid out of it. Um, I haven't took the front panel right off there. To get whatever's behind, there's not a lot behind that one, on that one. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, good. Right, so what have we got out of there? Well, we've got a little motor. Comes Marlow, have a look. Um, <laughs> you know, we just keep snuffing, huh? Some area. Yeah, we've got a little motor, we've got a bit of wiring room, what I'll clean up and make the singles. Got little boards, nothing major. A um, bit of alley on there. You got too high. Um, yeah, so, got that, what else we got? These little valve things. Oh no, I say valve things, I don't know what they are. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, these little inlets for the water. Um, I don't really take the plastic off, I normally only take the motors, pull the motors straight out. There's a nice little bit of copper in there, but it can be a bit fiddly. Get a bit of wire. Um, but just for quickness this time, I've just took the whole lot out. Um, the pump motor, what well, I normally just strip the copper out of and chuck the rest away back in the machine. I don't normally take all that off, to be honest with you. I normally do a few shortcuts on that. I'll show you in another another video, there's a few other little bits and pieces but um, on the electric side got a little pile of alley what needs cleaning up it all counts, all adds up so drive your alley, it doesn't weigh nothing as you know but uh, yeah, it all adds up, gets put in a pile so it's all good right, and we've also got these two fan motors I actually can't believe the weight of that that is heavy. Um, I wait. When the time we get one, I'll weigh one. Or if I get a chance, I'll weigh that and put it in another video. Then I'll clean it, up, clean it all up. But um, yeah, so we've got them. Like I say, there probably is a few more little bits I could probably take off it. But, but these are still got to be broken down. And, and that, but what I can see, I don't know if it's this one, that one. I don't think you can see it on the. I don't think you can see in there. There's a real nice bit of copper in there. So, um, yeah. Really, I just want to show you, I'll strip everything down like that. That's a double oven gas cooker. I could take that down a lot more, but I was trying to get it done in a bit of a hurry. But, um, yeah, don't worry if you can see that radiator. It's just tucked there, that alley red. But, uh, yeah, that's what I do. I do strip everything right down as much as I can to get as much money as I can out of everything. Right, so I've just shown you roughly what I take off um, this off of washer dryer. Um, but later on, maybe if you want, I'll do a video of stripping washing machines and you know, do it, show you everything and weigh it all up at the end and all the rest of it. But I just want to show you what I take off um, at the moment. It's, that, that one's heavy, it's probably about 60 kilos, maybe a little bit more. And um, yeah, but that's worth 14 per kilo. So if you can take something off like a motor or a bit of alley, then it's worth it because light iron is the lowest you can get really and at fourteen P a kilo. Uh I believe my um cast cast alley is going for around anywhere between ninety and a pound ninety P and a pound a kilo, something like that. I'm not quite 
100% on the price at the moment, but it's a lot more than 14 per kilo. So it's worth taking off. If you haven't got the time and you can only smash the motor off with a sledgehammer, then that's fine. If you can't even be bothered with that, you just wait in as it is, you wait in. But I've got a little bit of time and I've got a little bit of space. So it's worth me doing, isn't it? You know, that's why I look at it. But um, yeah, and like, hopefully you've seen the cooker. I do, that's what I do with everything I can. Try to make as much money as I can out of, out of nothing, really. Have a bit of scrap. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, isn't it? Have a bit of fun and make a few quid. Anyway, I'm going to go. So just remember, it's okay not to be okay. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye for now.